G'day folks and welcome to this unboxing and overview of a Time for Trumpets. This is a 2020 design by Bruno Sinigaglio, uh, published by GMT Games. It is a monster. It is a battalion level representation of the Battle of the Bulge uh, with a huge and hefty rule set. Uh, there's rules in the game. I printed off the living rules uh, minus the example of play at the end and it is 50 pages of dense text rules. I'll show you the rule that comes with the game in a moment. It's pretty similar to this. It just has a few revisions, but lots and lots of text. Um, there is in the rule book that comes with the game a couple of illustrated examples. I have also, with quite a, a bit of uh, errata and sort of um, modifications to this, I've also printed off the revised charts. There are four player A's that come in the game, one, two, three, four, and three of the four, number 1A, 2A, and 4A, have been revised a little bit. So these are the living play A charts from May 2021, and you can get those on the GMT Games website. Okay. So let's have a look inside. This is, as I said, a very hefty box. We have the original rules of play from just last year. And you're going to see illustrate this. This is 64 pages long. Examples at the back and about 50 pages of rules, but very dense, text heavy. Okay, there are a couple of little illustrations throughout, but lots and lots to get through. We have uh, the Play Aid book um, detailing uh, yeah, your various um, random events, reinforcement charts, um, and activation sequences. So basically, uh, yeah, your units can come on here and they activate at various times. So these charts kind of help you in sort of <laughs> guide you towards where they're placed, what their restrictions are. Um, this game is famous, for those of you who aren't familiar with it, it is famous for its, what people have called historical crime. There are many, many, many restrictions on what units can do, what they must do, where they can go, and sometimes where they have to go. So basically Bruno has tried to um, really get players to adhere to many of the elements of that historical narrative driving the bulge. Um, to some extent, this will inhibit your freedom of movement, um, but it's designed with that historical situation in mind. This is a scenario book. Um, you can see there, we're looking at about 20, 22 different scenarios. Uh, I don't know much about the scale of these yet. There is also Living Play Aid book from May 21 and Living Scenario book from May 2021. I don't know what the changes are, but again, this is a pretty hefty book. Um, this is the, the setup sheets for the, the various scenarios and again, detailing uh, every unit's um, limitations and requirements, for example, uh, may only move one hex, can't move until uh, adjacent US movements, uh, units move away, uh, after placement flip to their fort side, blah, blah, blah. There's all these things that sometimes units um, are restricted by or things that they must do. They must move to certain locations or do certain things, must move into this hex if possible, uh, must remain there until release and so forth. So a lot of uh, restriction on movement of your forces dictated by those various books. Jeez, that just ripped open. I'll fix that later. So the box is just ripped open. Um, five, 11 counter sheets, nice, clear GMT production quality. Let me guide you through these. So looking at the sort of three quarter inch counters, typical thick, GMT cardstock, sheet four, sheet five, sheet six, sheet seven, sheet eight, sheet nine, 
10, administrative counters, 11, 12. I guess that's the one nice thing. Most of these counters are unit counters. You've only got really two sheets of administrative counters. So you focus, and that's what I like about the look of this game, is you're really focused on um, your units on the map. And then we have these maps. I'm not going to open these up entirely, but I'll just give you a sense of what they look like. Okay, so this is the West End, Meuse River, Dinant down here, Hoi up here. Okay, so as I said, it is, it is big. It is uh, battalion scale. You have one, two, three, four, five maps, and then all the uh, these are the original player aid cards. One, two, three, four. Uh, there's two of the four A's. The artillery part cards. I don't think they've been replaced. I should check that. There's a couple of those, and another German chain of command a player aid card, allied play a card and then two dice and a box that just popped right open probably because of the weight of all these things um, this is packed really securely I got this from NWS and it was really nice little package so that hasn't been damaged in the post it's just very weak but I can fix that up somehow um, so here you go folks that's uh, a time for trumpets the battle of the bold from GT games 2020 it is a very very heavy box and of course the comparison I'm making is with the last Blitzkrieg, which is part of the Battalion Combat series. Same scale, same battle. Um, this is a, a much lighter box. I haven't opened this up yet. I'll get a new uh, unboxing for this coming up shortly. It'd be very interesting to see, because I've been playing this um, series lately, how they compare. Same scale, same battle. Interested to see um, how the two compare. That's a, that's a long way of doing a comparison between the two. Because they're both very big, hefty games, and I need to wrap my head around this. Pretty comfortable approaching this with the BCS rules um, that I've been running through. This will be a completely different beast to, to tackle. Thanks, everyone, and uh, yeah, take care.